Drum roll, please. Good morning. Welcome back to Dust in Bed. I am Dustin, and today I have two packages that I'm going to be talking about that come from a label called, I believe, Legome Audiovisual. Uh, before me, I have, I believe, mostly cassettes and two records. I ordered these from the label, and I wanted to talk about them because they're not as well known as I had hoped they would be. They're doing some really cool things, and I'd like to sort of put a spotlight on their work and what to expect from them, and hopefully give some much-needed attention. So hopefully you guys might see their releases and listen and throw them a few bucks. Um, the stuff before me arrived earlier than expected actually, so this is a bit of a bonus video. And we're gonna start eeny meeny miny mo. Start over here. What do we got here? It says handle with care. Fragile. Thank you. Just like me. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> gonna open this up and get in here very carefully. Maybe, 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 maybe bad. Bleh, I can't talk. Maybe carefully. We'll see. Try to be careful. I don't want to ruin anything that's in here. I actually got a note from the person that sold these or uh, sent these to me. Sold these to me. I mean, both. Uh, <laughs> that said to be careful because of the way that one of these was packaged. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the camera. <laughs> I'm just screwing up a lot today. Let's see. Come on. I want to be very fragile and gentile. There we go. But yeah, uh, more about the label. Uh, I've ordered from them, them in the past. And they seem to have, oh wow, look at that, very high quality t tapes from what I saw, but I haven't checked out their record releases, so that'll be interesting. Got some nice bubble wrap. <laughs> Just a little packing material here. This one's taped up. Let's start with this one. I believe this is the three inch record. Ooh, those are cool. Little picture there. Huh. Little fruity fruits. Got set that aside. Must be gentile. Can I slip it out? Must be gentile. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> This is the time we have by Forget All Expectations, I believe. Or the other way around, I'm not sure. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Let me see if I can open this up. I believe this might be a... Oh, this might be a code. Let me pull this off camera. Yep, this is a code. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this. But yeah, I believe this is like a little album or yeah, it's an album, but it's like not a physical release, but is a physical release? Blah, I can't talk. Physical release? I'm not sure about that, honestly. So we're gonna move on to this little, th I believe this is a three inch lathe cut record and it's the same song, but different versions of it. So let's take this out. To the side. Che I'm gonna check for codes again. I'm gonna have to do that for each one because I don't want to let go of a code or anything. <laughs> oh, oh, one second. Huh. I'll bring this up to you for you guys. 
gall faces. Hopefully there's nothing in it, in here that's too explicit. Except for that, haha, <laughs> little middle finger. <laughs> I'm gonna open this up and see real quick. <laughs> that's cool. There's nothing on the inside, it's just like that. And I was playing with this off camera, it looks like a little mouth. But, oh no, did I screw it up? I screwed it up. Oh no. I'm gonna pause real quick and fix this. Alright, I'm back. Just that's why it's cut, is because that that's what allows it to work like a book. Wow. I am silly, but that's a really cool design. Uh, here is the record. Let me see if I can. This is really cool. I've never seen a record like this before. If you see here, it's got the, there's the grooves, and here's a little insert to make it work on a record player. I'm gonna have to test these out and come back with another video talking about um, how all of these releases sound. Because uh, honestly, these were all blind buys for me because I really liked the record that I got from them before, and I figured I would just take a chance and see what these releases were like. But yeah, let me get this all packed up real quick. And... Yep. One second. Oh no! Oh no! I have not I was not prepared for this. There you go. There's the first release. Here is another kind of release, I'm not sure. I I'm I'm not positive on that one honestly. And I apologize to the record label if they're saying this because I am being a fool. Pull this one out. I believe this is one of the ones I was really excited for because I love the packaging. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Shiny. <laughs> Looks like 6 out of 20 too, so these are very limited. I don't remember if I mentioned before, but I will leave a link in the description if any of these are still available by the time this video comes out, then I highly recommend you take a look because, I mean, look at something like this. It's not something you get from just any old label. So I'm gonna take this card out. I'm gonna take off the string real quick so I can get to the tape. There we go. Ooh, a little green. I'm gonna move this out. This might be a code again. Ooh, no, I don't think so. No, look at that. Like a holographic card. Reminds me of my Yu-Gi-Oh days when I was a little kid. Hey, look, it's me. Look how holographic. Hi. But yeah, look at that. Gigabyte. Skin and metal. I, l I heard a bit of this on the band camp. And it sounded like some electronic music. I, I, I'm not sure what genre, if I'm honest. But... I wanted to get it because I love the packaging. Little leatherette pouch, all that, very cool. So, let's get this back together. I'm not gonna tie the, the string back around right now for the sake of time, but there's Gigabyte, very cool. This one, I, I think they might. I think the label might have threw in some extra goodies because I don't remember picking this one up. If I'm honest, there we go. Yeah, I definitely didn't order this because this is the actual 
Uh, I got this on tape originally, and this was the record that kind of sent me down the path of checking all of their stuff out. This is really cool. Very cool of them to send some bonus stuff. And let's see if I can squeeze that out. I'll come back to that booklet in one sec, but look at that. Very cool. Look at that artwork. And this album here, I can speak on this one a bit. This one is sort of some jazzy, sort of spaced out. I, I remember it having some hip hop influence in there. Really cool release. Uh, this is Zuanzu. <laughs> Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, neck out. And yeah, let me move on to the, is this a booklet? Yes, this is a, looks to be a lyric, oops, lyric booklet. Huh, that's some cool artwork. I'm gonna put these in the description so you can go check it out, but that's cool. If I, I'm pretty sure I didn't order this, so I thank you very much for including it in my order. Very nice of you. Oh. And this is the last for this package. This is a seven inch. I believe this is also a lathe cut by, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. I am so terrible at pronouncing names, but let me pull this out of the sheet, see if there's anything extra hanging out. There is not. Let me put this back into the sheet. Don't want to make a mess. <laughs> and there we are. Oops. And look at that. This is some heavyweight vinyl, so very cool. Look at that thick boy. <laughs> That's a thick boy. Alrighty. Oh, excuse me one second. Slide this back in here. All right. I'm gonna do a little roundup of everything that was in that box. We have this lyric booklet, the Zuanzu Neck Out CD, this seven inch single, I believe. Got some stickers. Got the gigabyte cassette. We got string, most importantly. <laughs> we got the Gull uh, digital download sort of physical release thingy. And the Forget All Expectations three inch lathe cut. So far so good, right? this out of the way and we're on to the kitty cat where did my knife go there it is the cassette cat very cute now we got to be gentile get in there oh no I say gentle and then I put the knife in and I drag it harshly across and that's no good that's just no good see what, okay there we go I wanted to st if I had to stab it in I wanted to do it at the cardboard rather than at the guts of the package so oop I probably hit the camera very hard there uh, okay <laughs> as you can see this is all pretty much one take unless I pause uh, that's a good thing because I don't have to edit and it's a bad thing because I make myself look like a silly, yeah, just a silly. There we go. Oh, bump, bump. Oh, no. Oh. Let's use the knife. That's what the knife's here for. Come on. Be good to me, Tate. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hopefully I haven't shown the other side of either of these releases because it has info on it that I would not like for people to know. And uh, yeah, 
squishy boys. We're gonna move those to the side. And I believe, yeah, here we go. This is cool because it's like a double tape. It's like, and it's actually, it's not like two pieces taped together. It's actually supposed to be a double tape, which is very cool. Uh, I, is that supposed to be pronounced like, uh, first, first thing I thought was microcosm, but I feel like that's very wrong. Uh, here's the titles. I'm sorry that I'm so bad at pronunciation. Here's the first one on a gold tape. Show you side A. This looks to be just a J card, so there's nothing else to see in here, but still cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh no, I'm gonna pull up side A. There we go. I'm so sorry, Mr. Tape. And side B, or not side B, tape, the other tape, sorry. A cool little silver and gold motif going on, very nice. Another J card, there's the artist. There you go. Very cool presentation. Ooh, I didn't notice that. The uh, the art on the uh, case is like etched into the cassette. That's very cool. Like I can feel it with my finger right now, if that makes sense. Very cool. And here we go, the last two. Nice. I, well, I didn't even say the title. Excuse me. Travel chip, I believe. Travel chip. This looked to be some chiptune stuff, which I'm not super familiar with. So I thought I would just kind of blind buy this and give it a shot. Nice little plastic case for the cassettes. Oh no, there we go. I'm not gonna be putting this one back together on camera because I'm gonna screw it up if I do. Oh, look at that piggy. Oh no, you probably saw that. You can have it. <laughs> Too late now. There's that code. Actually, I could put it in before Put it in before uh, I upload this, but I'm not going to. I think that whoever wants it can have it. Two little piggy boys. And there's that if you want to pause and take a look. <laughs> I love the little pig, pig squids, pig octopuses, octopi. Ah, uh, I don't know. Very cute. Regardless, very, very cute. I'm gonna set this to the side. And I believe we're on the last release right now. Let me see. Yeah, here we are. Get this open. Very gentile, as I keep saying. Gentile, fragile. Let's go. I'm gonna take a look at the picture off screen. Just out. Oh. <laughs> what are they holding? Is that like a magic eight ball? I can't tell honestly, but that's kind of cool. Little Instax picture. Don't put in mouth. Don't do it. I believe this is another Zuanzu album. I'm not 100% on that. I'll look off screen real quick. Oh, I missed something. Oh, it's the code. Here's the other side. I'm not gonna give away this code because uh, first one was an accident. <laughs> but yeah, this is the other uh, Zuanzu album. I believe this came out after neck out. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, get back in there. 
There we are. Here's the tape. So let's do a big old roundup of everything that we got today. We got a big oh no right here. A big oh no. That's the technical term. I'm going to shove everything back into this plastic thing like I said I wouldn't, but I'm doing now because I want it to be nice and not flop out all over the place on me. And there we go. So there's that. There's that. And there's that. So we got, let me see here. Let's see if I can put everything on the same. We got three tapes. We've got a three inch. We got that really cool tape going on. We've got that seven inch that's gonna cover everything. Boop. <laughs> Sorry to the other ones. Uh, and then we got a bonus CD and booklet and stickers. Let's see. There we go, that's a little better, kind of. I think everything's there. So yeah, that's the little sort of spotlight overview of Legume. Legume? I don't know. I'm terribly sorry to the person that owns the record label. Hopefully I did a decent job showing off some of the things that you could order from them, if you so choose. I highly recommend it. Their prices are very considerate of uh, the wallet, if you will, <laughs> and uh, some really cool music, which is the most important. So yeah, I believe that's it. Be sure to like if you like something like this. I'd like to do more spotlights in the future. I thought that this was a lot of fun, other than some mild technical difficulties. Sure to comment if you do like it. Um, Subscribe, of course. Of course, subscribe. And hit the, hit the little bell as well. And yeah, good night.